Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today, we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. It appears that Tesla has produced more Model S refresh vehicles, with the all-electric sedans having been spotted numerous times over the past few weeks, one being sighted in Carmel, California, and another in downtown Redwood City in Silicon Valley. The white Tesla Model S refresh vehicle spotted in California featured some interesting elements, including a center console, a round steering wheel, multiple exposed wires, charging ports, and side repeaters. The images of what looks like a Model S prototype parked in California were shared on Twitter by a Tesla enthusiast, Nick George, who took multiple pictures of the new Model S's exterior and interior, including the vehicle's steering wheel, ventilated seats, and HVAC system. Another feature of the spotted car was its size. It looks significantly larger than previous Model S iterations. Quote, I've spotted a Tesla Model S flat test mule in Carmel, California today. New interior, but a regular steering wheel, no yoke, wheel arches and overall stance is noticeably wider, Nick tweeted. However, what eventually stuck out from the rendered screenshots of the refreshed Model S was the size of the side repeaters. The autopilot system and side repeater cameras in the refreshed flagship sedan seemed a bit larger in size compared to the outgoing Raven Model S. The reasons behind the updated side repeaters remain scanty, but the rumors from the electric vehicle community suggest that the new side repeaters could give the Model S refresh a better view of the road. All Tesla's electric vehicles come fitted with a suite of cameras for different tasks, such as advanced driver assist features like navigate on autopilot, automatic lane changes, security-based functions like the sentry mode, Tesla cam, and so on and so forth. With this in mind, we can say that the Model S refreshes massive side repeaters may very well be designed to improve the full self-driving functions of the vehicle. Full self-driving is one of Elon Musk's main goals. He hopes to eventually deploy a technology that could enable Tesla vehicles to drive themselves without the driver's supervision. To achieve this, Tesla has been processing and analyzing massive amounts of data collected from its ever-growing fleet. Since last year, the company has been using full self-driving beta in its small group of prototypes, and so far, the technology has borne some positive results. Elon Musk had also previously hinted at improving the full self-driving beta in Tesla's future vehicles like the Model S Refresh. Therefore, Model S Refresh large side repeaters may very well be poised to function with the driver assist technology. Just a few days after a park test Model S with a regular steering wheel had been spotted in California, another Tesla Model S Refresh, but with a futuristic stockless yoke steering wheel, was spotted in downtown Radwood Metropolis in the Silicon Valley on Saturday. Immediately noticeable in Tesla's Model S sedan were deep blue multi-coat, a revised interior including a revamped instrument cluster screen, a wraparound wooden drawer trim, a horizontal dash screen, a rear passenger touch screen, and the Tesla's highly anticipated yoke steering wheel. Photographs taken by the Twitter user The Kilowatts show a Model S featuring the automaker's plates. This could be a clear indication that the American automaker is making final additions to its public testing before implementing the yoke steering wheel design in its production cars. Another unique characteristic of the updated steering wheel is the absence of Tesla's familiar dual scroll wheels as well as a traditional stalk. Last month, while unveiling the new Model S and Model X refresh, Tesla showcased the capacitive touch functions in both vehicles. However, markings for turn signals and drive functions were not visible on the yoke steering wheel of the vehicle spotted by the kilowatts. What seems to be a driver's section and the refined rear passenger area, clad in Tesla's famed vegan white interior and highlighted by the company's newest rear seat touchscreen display, were also evident. In the photos taken by the kilowatts, the button for folding down the Model S split rear seats can also be seen, alongside with a more prominent side repeater camera. The news of Tesla's Model S sightings comes after the electric automaker recently shared online a brief update on the way things had been running smoothly for its highly anticipated all-electric light-duty Cybertruck. 
The Cybertruck is undoubtedly Tesla's most radical, first-ever light-duty all-electric truck with a unique angular exoskeleton and unorthodox brutalist design. At the starting price of around $40,000, Tesla's truck has the potential to beat the long-running Ford F-Series, upcoming Rivian R1T, the Lordstown Endurance, and the GMC's Hummer EV. However, to achieve this, the Cybertruck must achieve the requisite balance between the classic pickup characteristics and all-electric performance. This is perhaps the main reason why Elon Musk and his design team have been trying as much as possible to refine the vehicle before it enters the production. Musk has lately been bullish about Cybertruck's development, claiming during the company's fourth quarter fiscal year 2020 call that almost all of the production stages of the vehicle had been completed. He added the design stage for the Cybertruck had been officially formalized and completely finished by the company. These remarks were followed by Musk's comments during a recent appearance at the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, where he noted that the final version of the Cybertruck would look similar to the all-electric pickup that was launched in late 2019, except for a 3% size reduction. The billionaire added that the Cybertruck's size reduction would allow it to fit in his boring company tunnels with ease. In fact, Musk had once taken the Cybertruck through a boring company tunnel with veteran talk show host Jay Leno at the wheel. And while driving through, Leno noted that Cybertruck's body was nearly touching the tunnel's walls. With early pickup contest entrants such as the Rivian R1T, Tesla Cybertruck is arguably going to face stiff competition from both ends of the market, that is, from both startups and legacy automakers. For instance, the Ford F-150 all-electric pickups are poised to be released in the nearest future, although legacy automakers relying on South Korean company SK Innovation batteries might impose some challenges on their rollout. This is due to a recent 10-year U.S. import ban against SK Innovation, which was imposed following a complaint by rival battery company LG Chem. In other news, Elon Musk has indicated that Tesla could be shifting its standard range EV models to lithium iron phosphate battery or lithium iron phosphate cells, citing nickel supply constraints. Last year, during the second quarter 2020 earnings call, Musk claimed that he had believed the energy density of lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries had improved enough to justify the use of these cheaper energy sources alongside with iron cathode cells in lower end vehicles. Tesla rolled out the LFP battery cells in its Model 3 Standard Range Plus vehicles manufactured in Gigafactory Shanghai, China, in October of 2020. This move was significant because the new Made in China Model 3 Standard Range Plus with LFP batteries ended up becoming Tesla's new base model in markets outside China. Tesla has been producing the Model 3 Standard Range in the United States with lithium-ion battery cells with nickel cathodes, but now Elon Musk appears to be indicating a possible shift there too. This could change after Musk reiterated in a tweet late Thursday that nickel supply constraints are the biggest obstacles for his company in scaling lithium-ion cell production. Quote, we're shifting our Model 3 standard range to lithium iron phosphate batteries, plenty of iron and lithium. End quote. Musk tweeted, nickel-based batteries are the preferred option for electric vehicles because they have higher energy density and greater storage capacity compared to iron phosphate packs. Their greater storage capacity helps to boost the range ratings of electric vehicles. Iron phosphate battery packs are suitable for Tesla's standard range electric vehicles, where car owners sacrifice performance and range for a budget-friendly price tag. Tesla's CEO mentioned that these vehicles have the capacity to cover 200 or even 300 miles using the iron phosphate battery pack. This also conforms to what he had said in July, that his standard range vehicles would have a range of around 300 miles. Furthermore. The nickel cathode cells are also expected to be utilized in the Tesla Semi. This kind of battery will definitely improve the range of the upcoming all-electric commercial truck. Nickel is very expensive compared to iron, and that could be another reason why Tesla is shifting to lithium iron phosphate batteries. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.